are going to do, you can go forward, uh, seated acupressure massage. Brilliant for on-site corporate events, festivals, parties, anything where you can be mobile and out and about because it's a clothed treatment. So I'm going to do a quick run through. Little brush down and then palm presses. I'm going to do, if I'm going to, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one line of everything instead of two. Here's the archer press, intention going forward, and then forearm press. Coming into my acupressure, nine points of the bladder meridian. On. down to mid thoracic, nine. Two rounds of that, and then I'm gonna locate the top of the scapula for one point. These are four, two, three, and four equidistant points along the medial border of scapula. Coming up, three points here can be done either facing forward or a little bit easier facing inward. One, two, three, across the trapezius crest. A little rub down. I don't know how you can see what we're doing here. A little shake down, shake it, and then double palm squeeze. One, two, three, four, five points. Locate the tip of the deltoid for one, two, three, four, and five. Two rounds of that. I'm just going to put the the, the thumb side, the radius towards me. One, two three, four, and five. Arm flat right down the center. Triple heater meridian, that was a large intestine. This is the triple heater. And then just swing round along the ulnar edge for the small intestine meridian, five points. Oh great, we've got wizard snoring in the back of the video. Bringing it up. <laughs> okay, so you might want to come right round here. Spreading, spread with the heel of my hand. And then these thumb strokes, thumb strokes. And then you can also do a little bit of mobilization and thumb, a little bit of mobilization and wet under the webbing. You can also do this large intestine four point, brilliant point for the master point. I can explain that later. You can turn palm facing up, heart meridian line first, so the inner line, five points. Two rounds. Pericardium channel, five points through the center. And the lung meridian and the lateral aspect, five points. Again, a little bit of spreading here. Pull through the webbing, pull through the webbing, little jiggles through the webbing and little jiggles through the webbing. And then coin rubs, rubbing the flats, the sides, Squeeze and flick. Flats, sides, squeeze and flick. Flats, sides, squeeze and flick. Flat, sides, squeeze. Last one. Then I'm going to support, hold the wrist, pick up at the elbow, close to my body and I'm just Extending through here, leaning. And then down. A little rub. And then I would start everything here. So rhomboid press, nine points down. Don't forget, just to show you, is that squiggle, the squiggle back lowers the body rather than staying here and trying to go down like that. It's the, it's the little shimmy back that's a key to that. Three points are all the same here. Three points, arm, and everything that I've just shown you. Once you finish that, you're going to come to the back, brush down for the lower back, mid thoracic lumbar, and a little downward pressure for the sacrum, it's okay? 
two rounds of that and then straight arms really important straight arms and really good thumb joint alignment mm -hmm. what is he with? all the way through again squiggle down so that good positioning come to the sacrum two rounds of that so you would come up to do another two rounds and then you come to the end of sacrum where I squat down I find the edge of sacrum and then I'm just going to press one two three across the piriformis do two rounds of that and then I'm going to take the heel of my hand and I'm lifting into the top of the glutes so without doing <laughs> you on the we keep it nice like a pressing in so you can also see that i'm rocking forward can you see my body weight mm. is rocking forward because if i'm here trying to do it i don't get the pressure it's the rocking forward and a little bit of a rotation outwards mm. and then a little okay i'm coming to do the neck just tip your head to your chest into your chest standing forward again good alignment I'm just using my thumb to push the muscles away from the spine. Five points, four or five points, because some people's necks are shorter. And then one, two, three points, one, trigger points, two, three. A little shimmy. I would come to the other side to do all of that. One, two, three, four, five. It works best in this position. Or you can even work here as well. But as long as you're not uh, crunching yourself up, you can work the neck. In fact, that's a good position here facing in. One, two, and three. So always looking after myself as well. Nice alignment here, so I'm not gonna do anything like with my thumbs all scrunching like that. Then I'm going to bring my climb up gently and easy up. Tuck the paper. Okay. Next stretch. Palms up. Actually, if you stay there, Nat, and then I'll be over. Stretch. And hold it enough. Head to the centre. Palm up. So right over, clearing, so no pressure on the head, clearing right up, and I'm pull, like with my fingertips, stretching the neck. And release, excellent. You can also do, this is quite nice, this is really good. Then you can do some deep scalp massage. Nice, deep, relaxing, all day long, please massage <laughs> and then a little bit of you can do a little bit of plucking here or a little bit of knocking if you find this difficult you can do a little bit of hacking but I think you will perfect it sweeping down I'm going to do four double forearm presses one two and three palms up to begin with pressing down so I do have to cover on my tiptoes here just to sort of get on top of the shoulder, the um, trapezius. And down, so palms up, palms parallel and palms down, keeping myself relaxed. Swing back. Thumb circles, thumb rotations. And then I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna ask my client just to put the arms down by the side. I'm gonna loop my hands under the elbow. If you drop your head forward and get, I'm getting myself in a really good position here. Can you see that I'm low to come up, holding my abs tight here. I've got my hands clasped together and I'm pulling as much as I feel the resistance and I'm holding it, holding it, holding my abs in back straight, really important for myself. Then I'm gonna swing around if you clasp your hands behind your head keep them low not too high there's perfect and I'm just going to support here and lift for a nice stretch until I feel the resistance and then relax and down 
and then I'm going to go into some percussion. I get a good position for myself here, nice horse stance. I'm going to take some hacking across the trapezius, down the rhomboid, just keep it local. Breathing. Champing. Floppy wrists, hands in prayer, open the fingers, jumping across, cross the spine here into my puff ball, and down the rhomboid, jumping over. Little sweep down, breathing. Take a moment. Thank you. Seated acupressure. Yay! 